everybody. My name's Harry James. Action-packed preview for you this week against the Horn Frogs of TCU. Uh, plus a cele a uh, celebration of sorts for the softball team. Tell you what I mean. All that in a TCU preview for 2021. Next. Boomer Sooner 1982, don't go away! softball team who won a national championship beating Florida State in two or three games. Uh, they were actually eliminated the first, uh, sent to the elimination bracket the first night, sent there by uh, JMU, getting them by one run. They then run rolled Georgia, first game on Saturday. The second elimination game was kind of pushed back quite a bit, two and a half hours in fact, but they did play it, defeating, defending national champs, UCLA, with no softball game uh, tournament last season. And they then had to beat James Madison, JMU, they had to beat them twice, they did it once on Sunday, lots and lots of rain came back Sunday afternoon, pushing the start of the Florida State game way back, uh, way up, I should say, uh, far enough up to where they said that they, would, uh, they wouldn't play the doubleheader part of the games if Florida State were to win. They would just hold it off till Monday. That ended up happening. Oklahoma actually ended up winning that game on Monday against James Madison to play Florida State, losing the first game to Florida State. Does that sound familiar? Then bouncing back, winning two straight against the Seminoles on uh, Tuesday evening and Wednesday afternoon, making them the new NCAA 21 softball champs. How about that for you, entertainment? In fact, it was, uh, I believe it was Jada Coleman that said that that softball stadium at uh, the ASA Stadium. It sounded like a football game. That's how loud it was. And they deserved every ounce of that loudness and proudness. Speaking of football, let's talk football, specifically TCU football. The Horn Frogs, TCU. Fort Worth, Texas is their home. They went 6-4 and four last year in uh, overall. 5-4 and four in Big 12 play. Probably their best win last year was a two-point conversional win. 33-31 30, over Arch Nemesis, or Nemesis, whichever one you prefer. Texas. Horns down, by the way. Uh, got that game. Actually, actually, that game was played at DKR, at Daryl K last season. Uh, TC, of course, does not play their home games at DKR. They play their home games at Amon G. Carter Stadium. Their head coach, Gary Patterson, is in his 21st season uh, coaching TCU. Uh, that does include a uh, 2000 bowl game where uh, they he took over uh, TCU from 
David uh, from Coach Francione, who uh, that was, I believe, when he went to Alabama, uh, starting the 2001 uh, season. Uh, passing game for uh, Gary Patterson. Now this is basically this is going to be a defensive quality team to help them win, uh, help them compete. In my opinion, for the second place team and play in Fort Worth, or uh, actually in Arlington for the Big 12 championship. Speaking of uh, the uh, football, speaking of the softball program, sounded like a football game. This very well could sound like a football game in Arlington. In Cowboy Stadium could very well sound like a home game for TCU if they were to qualify. But if they were to qualify, they've got to get players to step up. Players like <clears throat> passing game. That's all going to be Max Duggan, baby. This guy came back, uh, had a season-ending injury last year. Comes, uh, uh, comes back. Has the surgery, comes back from it, and still passes. Last season, for 1,795 yards in the air to go with 10 touchdowns, 7 interceptions, and including a season-long pass of 76 yards. Max Duggan is also the returning rusher for TCU. 15 Max Duggan. 116 carries last year to go with 526 yards. 10 more touchdowns added on onto the ground. His longest run, 81 yards. Helping him on the ground, uh, Rashard, Rashawn Johnson, 73 total carries last year. 428 yards on the ground, 5 touches, including a 74-yard long run. So that's the, that's the ground game. But if you're going to pass... If Max Duggan is going to do the passing part for almost 2,000 yards coming back from the injury, he's got to have some targets. He's got some targets. Pretty good targets, in fact. Uh, Quinton, uh, Quentin uh, Johnson, he wears numero one. He's number uno to watch out for. Uh, Tay Barber, he wears the four. We'll start with uh, Quentin Johnson. Only 22 catches last year but did go for 487 yards and two touchdowns last year. His longest reception, 76 yards. Also, Tay Barber, 31 catches last year, 318 yards through the air receiving, two touchdowns in his own right. His longest completion, 30 yards, and both are from the wide receiver court. But you know what, guys? If you're going to get back, and they're going to be the team to play Oklahoma. they got to play their defense step up. And you know that my cousin Chad and that defensive coordinator, Gary Patterson, you know he's going to have players ready to go on defense. Like every year. This year is no different. Uh, Dre Winters, uh, Winters and uh, Ochean Mathis, defensive end linebacker. We'll start with the regular linebacker, D. Winters. 65 total tackles last year. Zero forced fumbles, zero fumbles recovered, zero picks. Defensive end linebacker Ocheon Mathis, 46 total tackles last year, zero forced fumbles. Did have a fumble recovery, did not have a pick from his defensive end linebacker spot. 32, Ocheon Mathis on defense. So we've, got, we've talked about the passing game and the offense and the rushers and the wide receivers on offense. A couple of defensive players. But you know what? If they're going to get to Arlington, like I think that they might, they've got to have all three all three positions. Offense, defense, and what about some special teams? Oh, they got some good special teams too. What about Sandy Shorty? Or Jordy. Jordy. Sandy Jordy last season. 57 attempts on putts last year to go with a 41.0% uh, average. Three touchbacks. 24 balls landed inside the 20-yard line. And his longest punt last year, 55 yards. So that's the punting. What about the kicking? You actually got to get points on the board if you want to play with Oklahoma and you want to get to Arlington and play with the big boys. What about uh, Griffin Kell? Griffin Kell, 39 Griffin Kell, 12 for 17. That's about a 70.6% accuracy on those field goals 
and has a long field goal last year of 53 yards. All right, guys. That'll do it for the preview part of it. Now, you know, now that softball's out of the way, we've got the national championship, boomer sooner to you, all that. Now we got a couple of weeks off before the football season cranks up. If you want some uh, some stuff to listen to and some good quality stuff to listen to during this my time, gotcha! Right here, this is uh, Inside OU. Brady Trantham, Keegan Renault do an amazing job with this podcast. Hats off to them too, by the way. There you go, guys. They do a great job here. This one is can be easily put into your podcast feed. Just search in the uh, uh, just put search inside OU in your podcast feeds, and you got it. You got it, baby. You got this. Click out of that, and you'll see a Patreon. Go to their Patreon page, guys. This. Is some good stuff too. Four dollars if you want just the podcast and the fan interview. They'll be doing a couple of fan interviews uh, now through the end of the uh, beginning. I'm sorry of the regular football season. After that, they will still stay with two, but instead of just a fan interview, they'll do a regular uh, podcast and a uh, uh, post game podcast on the uh, Patreon. Speaking of the Patreon, four four dollars if you want just those the uh, p- 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 the the uh, once a week uh, through the Q podcast and the post game podcast once that gets through uh, the football season. Four dollars just for that. One extra dollar, five dollars gets you Keegan Renault and his film review. So you'll do a film review for each one of the games. In fact, they're going to do a walkthrough of, speaking of TCU, they're going to do a walkthrough of TCU later tonight. I believe it will be at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, 7 o'clock Central on uh, uh, Keegan's uh, uh, Skype. Uh, just go through his Twitter, path, Twitter account, uh, at uh, Keegan Renault. And I'm sure that you'll find it. If not, you can also sh- search at Brady Does Sports, and Brady Trantham will help you get to that feed. All right, guys, that will wrap this puppy up. Next week, a road test that we'll preview against a new coach in the Big 12, the newest coach in the Big 12, Leipold in Kansas. So not only a new coach, but maybe even a new offense? Just saying. We'll preview that next week. Till then, guys, my name is Harry James. Uh, you, can, you can catch this on all my other videos. YouTube, Boomer Sooner 1982. Also, my Facebook page, Harry James Taylor. Or on the Twitter, at Hype Man Harry. All right, guys, till next time. Boomer Sooner, everybody. I'm out of here. Peace.